Oh, well, uh, I'm very I was very interested in the uh, problems with the obesity. You know, the obesity is linked uh, with the cardiovascular diseases. And then I found in an article about, uh, about endovascular treatment of obesity, uh, it was an animal experimental study. And up to that, I got very fascinated with this, uh, in interested, and then we started uh, to do our experimental studies ourselves, and then after that we moved uh, into the clinic and conduct first in men's study in 2012. Luckily, we didn't see any adverse effect in our patients. Uh, all patients, however, we had a small number of patients, five patients, uh, they didn't experience any complication whatsoever. And they, all of them uh, demonstrated very good results. I mean under that that they, all of them, they lost uh, weight. Uh, the mean weight loss was about 16%. Uh, that is very significant weight loss. Uh, we followed them about two years now, and we were uh, we were cautiously optimistic that after uh, additional randomized studies, uh, we can say if this uh, new method of the treatment of obesity works. Uh, we are also working on the new uh, designated device for this. Uh, modality of treatment, and we designed the design. Uh, we designed the catheter, special catheter, uh, to deliver uh, to deliver beads uh, for uh, left gastric artery embolization. So I think uh, will be successful in the future. Yeah, ghrelin is a is a very interesting uh, story. Ghrelin is a hunger hunger, hunger hormone, uh, which was discovered in 2002. It, uh, Dr. Cummins first reported on that. In, in this was published in New England Journal of Medicine. Um, the uh, ghrelin increases with the. Uh, when the person is hungry and decreases when they uh, after meals, uh, so it's a very powerful, most powerful uh, known hormone for the hunger. Based on the results, we should be cautiously optimistic, and uh, with more uh, refined, uh, refined uh, technology and uh, designated device development, I think will be successful to, for the treatment of obesity in minimally invasive way, rather than using very, uh, <coughs> very dramatic surgery such as bariatric surgeries like gastric bypass and etc. and other procedures. It's, uh, catheterization is, is a very nice way to treat many uh, ailments. Instead of uh, surgery where you cut open the patient, you make a tiny puncture, usually in the groin area. And it's a long, thin tube that has the therapy uh, that you use that to deliver the therapy. So what we've done is come up with a, a catheter design, a very thin tube, that as Dr. Kipchitz mentioned, we deliver these beads very locally to a portion of an artery that feeds a certain portion of the stomach. The challenge, of course, is to deliver the beads in a way that's very, very controlled because we want to actually only uh, embolize and treat a certain portion of the artery and not have the beads go where we don't want them. Well, it's really targeted for the obese patients. Uh, we, you have the, the spectrum of obesity, as, as you know, goes up to gross obesity, the patients that would require, say, bypass surgery, which is very, very traumatic. There's a treatment gap 
where patients who are not that large, but large enough that they're going to be developing diabetes and many other cardiovascular ailments that's related to the obesity. And that's really our target because this is a much simpler and safer procedure than the surgery.